And the new Tarzan CD is available now. In stops everywhere. And did you bring enough for the whole room? I did. Everyone's got one, I think. Oh, right, isn't that sweet? I have to say, the songs, the music are just amazing. This is the first time that you've done an entire... Oh, yeah. Well, actually, I mean, I, I mustn't forget, Mark Mancino did the, the score. Right. I just did the songs, but, uh, but they're all kind of very much interweaved. You know, they, he's used my themes, and so it's, it's been a long time, Rosie. It sure has. Now, when you do a, a song for this, Against All Odds, you see the movie, you get inspired, you write yeah. it. For this, you have to be involved in the whole process. There's no movie yeah. to write to. No, the songs almost come first, you know. I mean, they kind of have a, a story outline, and then they say we want, might want a song there, might want a song there, might want a song there. And then you write the songs and the, they, everything evolves around the same time, you know. Right. That's exciting. We, we did a song together. We did. Yes, and I wasn't very good, was I? You were very good. No, said, come on, you know, I wasn't. When, you're, when, you produce, when you produce people, you have to, because if I'm a singer and I've been produced, and I know you have to be very careful what you say to people. I happen to say, when someone said, well, how is it? I said, well, you're a little, little under and not quite in the pocket yet. Yeah. See? And I, I had no clue what you meant. <laughs> and I'm in the booth with my headphones and he goes, hello, Rosie Phil, wonderful job. Little under, in the pocket. I said, okay, sir. I had no idea and I just kept trying to do it and, until hopefully I got it right. Yes, you did get it right. It was fantastic. But, you know, you say these things and it's just, you, you forget about it. But, of course, you've been harboring this for, for years now. Well, because I... <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea what it meant. A little under means I'm flat. A little under meant it's occasionally a little flat. Yes. And not in the pocket meant that it wasn't quite... Bam, da, ba, doo, ba, doo. You know, that was... But you got it. Eventually. Yes. Yeah, we were there for nine hours. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, who else sings in this? Glenn Close, right? Glenn Close sings a little bit, yeah. And uh, otherwise, it's me. Yeah, it's you I mean, mostly, uh, yes. Yeah, I'm afraid so. And it's... <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's not a bad thing. No, I, I, well, when they uh, originally asked, you know, Trying to break moulds, you know, they're trying to sort of change the way Disney do things. It's always some good thing about, you know, they're trying to do things differently. And so they asked, they told me, really, that I would be singing in the film. And I thought that was a little strange at first because it's okay when um, you expect the, 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 the bird or the rat or the monkey to burst into song, but you don't quite expect someone's voice that you know very well from right. music television or MTV, VH1, to sort of, it sort of can throw people off the scent a bit. And I was a bit worried that that would happen. But yeah. it hasn't happened, and uh, to be honest, because I'm singing in the film, it's led to all kinds of other things, so singing in different languages and stuff. No kidding. Well, they, they, the films go to 35 different countries, well, 35 different languages, and uh, they didn't tell me that when I, when I said I'd do it. <laughs> and uh, suddenly, about two years into the project, you know, you get, a, you get a phone call to go to a meeting with the international department, and they, they showed me this, this song from Hercules, uh, which in two and a half minutes went through 35 languages. And you couldn't tell the joins from one language to the other, you know. And they said, so, Phil, um, how about having a go at some of these languages? And uh, I suddenly realised that I had to have a crack at... Um, I, I said I'd do German, French and Spanish. And did you? Which I did. And did you do Chinese or Japanese? Or no, they, they wanted me to do Japanese, but I, I really... I did Italian, actually, as well, but I, I, I couldn't... I, see, every time I do the songs, I have to do all the, the harmonies again. And it just gets, I just can't sing the songs anymore. You know, I've been singing them for four years. <laughs> right, I understand. It's a long process. It People is a long don't process. Realize but it's from fantastic. start to finish, but it's finally coming out June, yeah. this June. June 18th. June 18th. And it's going to, I think, it's definitely going to give Star Wars a run for its money because it's a wonderful, wonderful movie. I mean, it's a lot of heart. It's it a lot does. of heart. It's a very warm film. There's, there's lo lots of moments when there's, there won't be a dry eye. I mean, it's a very touching film. It really is. And it's yeah. a great story about what defines a family. And, uh, when I read it, I was so touched by that. I myself have two adopted children and so related to the feelings of love and strength and the connection between yeah, this family. Everybody's needs are the same, pretty much. Exactly. We're going to take a break. This is me, Turk, right there. That's what I look like. And, uh, and this is me. And that's, that's Phil right there. <laughs> <laughs> the one with all the ripped muscles. The one with the tummy, that'd be me. Uh, we're going to do the song that we do in the movie, uh, Trash in the Camp, uh, for you live next. Phil Collins and me singing off Kate. Don't go away. Thank <laughs> you.